Hey y'all, this is All of Destiny. The nails have already been prepped off camera. I'm starting off by applying two coats of nail primer. After the first coat, I apply a nail form. I go back in with the second coat of nail primer and then we do the acrylic application. So the color that you see me using here is not necessarily for building nails. It comes in a 3D uh, set of colors that I have, but I never really remember to order colored acrylic until I'm sitting down doing nails and I'm like, oh, I got it again. So I don't really like to use this for that purpose, only because it sets fast, because that's what you want for 3D. You want it to kind of set fast when you're building flowers and all of those things. But my sister, she wants it like the bottom of her nails designed as well. Not necessarily designed, but when you flip the hand over, she wants you to be able to see this peachy color. So that's the only purpose we're using this for. Since it's used for that purpose, the smile line does not have to be neat. I'm just going further back um, along her nail. That way as the nail grows out, you won't really see the clear. You'll still see some of the peach color. Hopefully that makes sense. So once I'm satisfied with the shape of the peach color that we're using, I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire rest of the nail with clear acrylic. I don't really apply this in one big ball or bead just because I would rather, rather do small ones to take my time and get it right than to do one large one and it sets too fast on me. Plus, I don't think I have the right brush for that. So yeah, definitely just do whatever works best for you. I'm going to repeat that same process on all of her nails. And also, I am using my gold finger round acrylic brush number five to complete this entire set. All of the products that I used, I will try to list them in order in my description box for you all down below if you're interested. I do my best to make sure that I'm applying the acrylic as neat as possible to help eliminate some of the fouling time. But of course, you still have to go in and foul and perfect the shape. So I did use a hand foul, a buffer, and then I had my sister to rinse off her hands with soap and water to remove nail dust before we design the nails. I'm using some of the colors from my Hello Kitty by OPI collection. I did swatch all of these colors about two years ago. That link will be in my description box below. The colors I'm using is my pal Joey, my twin Mimi, super cute in pink, and small plus cute equals love. So in no particular order, I'm just going to go ahead and apply these polishes all over her nails. So as far as the shape goes on her middle nail, because I know y'all can see that. <laughs> Uh, honestly, after I sculpted her nails, I didn't design them for like another two weeks. I don't know. We just kind of, I don't know. We just kept putting it off for whatever reason. Either way, I had to go back in and do a fill in on my sister's nails. And somehow she kind of chipped that one. She kind of just fouled it at an angle and was like, eh, just leave it like that. I was like, you sure? She was like, yeah. So I was like, you cool with it? I'm cool with it. Let's keep it pushing. So, yeah. Plus this... The footage that you all saw at the beginning of me sculpting the nails in real time, that takes two hours. So it was like, yeah, if you don't want to redone, I'm not going to redo it. It's cool with me. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's how lipstick nails came about. Somebody chipped their nail and was like, oh, girl, just foul it at an angle. And then, boom, lipstick nails. So, hey, you never know. We might be, no, we're not coming up with nothing. Either way, we didn't fix that nail. Don't come for us about it because just don't. <laughs> <laughs> clean up any of the mistakes using uh, acetone and a nail brush so yeah after two coats we're gonna go ahead and design the nails on this one I'm applying some gel and then I'm just going to randomly apply lots of rhinestones to my sister's nails in fast motion of course because this takes a while So normally I would go ahead and cure that nail under the UV lamp and then I will begin working on the next nail. But I was like, eh, just keep your hands still. Let me finish all of them and then you can put all of them under the lamp at one time. <laughs> I was in one of my, I really don't feel like doing nails, but let me go ahead and finish your nails type of mood. So it was like, yeah, let's just, let's try to be efficient right now. Let's do as much as we can and then cure it all at once. One thing I do like about gel, and you all will see she'll change her mind about this design. You, the gel doesn't set until you pretty much put it under the lamp. So if she changed her mind, which she did about this one, she didn't want the rhinestones anymore, you can easily just remove all of that 
put them back in your little jar and you're good to go. We decided to do a sugar ring nail instead and that's pretty much where we just apply some of the gel and sprinkle some glitter on top. Just imagine like when you were in middle school, you would play with glue and then you sprinkle glitter, tap, tap, tap. Same technique, it's just on the nail. So moving right along to the next design. Uh, let's just, I guess this is kind of like a little compilation in a sense because my sister didn't want her left and her right hand to match. Who says that they had to? Society? Hmm, did they? No, I'm kidding, but she wanted different designs. I was like, hey, if that's what you want, like, you know, I'm just designing them. I'm just gonna do what you ask for. So her left and her right hand are not going to match. Your left hand doesn't have to know what the right hand is doing. Why do they have to? Nah, I'm just being funny, but. Uh, so the color that I'm using, I was like, are you sure? Like, this is a nail art. Do you have to have this green? She absolutely loves this green. I hate when she asks for this because it's a nail art green. So that little brush is just like, eh. And I tried to use my little julep one that my friend gave me years ago. I've never used it. I don't know. It's just, ugh. it was making the nail so streaky. I was like, let me just try to work with this. So I'm applying it kind of messily, but I'm going to go back in with um, some acetone and a nail brush and clean that up afterwards. Alright, so after cleaning up the nails and applying two coats of each one, I thought the camera was running, but I missed me doing the little sugaring technique again. I think it's called sugaring. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm sure you all will let me know down below if I am. Now I'm just tying, uh, tying, what, Destiny? I'm taking some uh, nail polish and I'm just going to apply that on her nails and then just apply some more rhinestones. Also, when you do apply the rhinestones, you can use nail glue for this. You can use nail polish. You can use gel. Um, I just kind of worked my way up into all of these different things, just depending on what you have. You got to use what you got to get what you want. If you don't got gel, use nail polish. Just don't apply all the nail polish at once. Kind of apply a little bit, apply some rhinestones. Apply a little bit more, apply some rhinestones, because you don't want the nail polish to dry on you. If you're using nail glue, I would kind of suggest the same thing as well. Um, but with gel, like I said, the gel is just, it's sitting there until you put it under the lamp. So you got forever, <laughs> forever. You got forever, girl, okay? So yeah, then I realized we were outside just chilling doing this. I said, wait, we can get the, you know, it's a plug out here. Let's get the UV lamp. We did that, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, we thought we wanted to do a 3D bow. I purchased these at Dollar Tree. Yep, I was like, oh my God, bows at Dollar Tree, I gotta have these, but it didn't go. It was like, nope, that's too much green. So we just decided to do some striping tape instead. Like I said, we're outside, so I didn't grab my scissors. I'm using cuticle cutters right now, and I'm not giving any more disclaimers. Like I said, you gotta use what you got to get what you want. We needed to cut this striping tape, so we made it do what it does, because... <laughs> And I'm not redoing this voiceover. This is my third take. We rolling with it. So yeah, I'm just casually, just randomly deciding. I didn't cut me kind of moving it around. Do I want it right here? Do I want it right there? Because I want you all to see how we just kind of, we just kind of come up with this as we go. If anything, we may just grab some colors and different things that we know that we want, but we don't have anything else in mind beyond that point. So apply some cuticle oil and you are pretty much done since i upload a variety of style videos on my channel hair vlogs different things i have an entire nail tutorial playlist since they tend to get lost that way you all can easily access them if you're interested i will have that video link in my description box for you all down below let me know if you like the left hand or the right hand better or if you can tell left and right hand just let me know if you like the multicolored hand better or the yellow and the green and what else questions or comments leave all of that down below and as always, I thank you all so much for watching.